Excited because the Step Out TV shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out with Oscar Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step Out SME Focus. This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step Out Youth Impact Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Author's Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week at 7 p.m. GMT. Like T2i TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 44759-1152983 or plus 233-5558039-24 or email info at traintoinspire.com. T2i TV. We engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Step Out Youth Impact Zone. And this is where we interview young people across the globe who are doing exceptionally well on the continent of Africa and in diaspora. Upon all our TV programs, apart from the Step Out with Oscar Bimpo, the Step Out Youth Impact Zone is really gathering momentum across the globe because the young people on the continent and in diaspora are really letting us to understand that they have got a role in shaping the Africa we want to see. And tonight is no exception. Actually, my guest is not new on this platform. He is a person that you love to listen to. This young man is in depth in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and he also understands the terrain in which to really work hard for you to achieve your goals on the continent. Now, before I go, I would like to have a mention of a few sponsors. This program is sponsored by Train to Inspire Consultancy, that is your business training and consulting firm. That is as a business startup or as a business or organization for all your business training needs, just contact Train to Inspire Consultancy. Train to Inspire also work with um, colleges and universities in terms of their personal development. Also, also P and Q personnel, your number one agency for hiring healthcare assistants and nurses based in the UK. ALS Global Shipping and Logistics, your trusted import and export company based in Accra. ALS says if you are stranded at the port, call them and they will sort you out. Also, ZP Ghana Limited, your remittance and mobile money company based in Ghana. They just launched their USSD code for mobile money and that is star 270 hash. Just dial it on your phone and register for ZP Mobile Money. Then Wheels for Sure, your car leasing company for every credit. Wheels for Sure says it doesn't matter your credit background. You can walk out of the garage with a car of your choice. Wheels for Sure is based in the UK. And Wheels for Sure, in now in COVID-19, 
if you don't have a car or you want to change your car, as a lot of people are avoiding public transport, and you think you don't have you don't have a good credit rating to get a car of your choice, then please contact them. They will sort you out. They've got powerful packages for everyone, especially key workers. Contact them and they are going to sort you out. When you call them, quote T2I 2020. If you want to contact any of our sponsors, their contact details are scrolling on the screen. Take them and contact them. I always say that if you contact them and you say you got it from us, you are more likely to get a very good deal. Also, if you want to sponsor on our show, you are more than welcome to do so. Just take the T2I TV UK number or the Train to Inspire Consultancy number. Contact us and we are going to really work with you. Now, let me go straight to business and who do I have on the horse seat? This man is the CEO of 233 Developers LLC USA and Ghana. He is the president of the African Youth Leaders and Entrepreneurs. He is the deputy executive director of Global Chamber Accra and also serves as an advisor or strategic consultant for numerous startups and SMEs. Who is this man I'm talking about? He is in the person of Mr. Peter Enimo. Please welcome to Step Out Youth Impact Zone and you are live on TTY TV UK. Thank you, Oscar. It's a pleasure to be here again. Once again, I'm here with you. you know, and it's always a pleasure to be here. It's always a pleasure and I always love it when I'm having you on the show because trust me, I always enjoy your discussion. Likewise, I actually like the things you, you're, you're doing, you know, you're doing in America, you're doing one this actually. I must be realistic. I really didn't want this. And you are thoughtful. You ask thoughtful working questions, you know, questions mm. that I think a lot. A lot of the time, we don't get to think like this, you know. Mm. When, when you have sessions like this, that's when we get to, I mean, think, rock our brains and then bring out something that may seem or sound like reasonable or sometimes can be reasonable. Mm. Thank you for your kind words. We are just trying to do our best. It's not an easy journey, but. I think that is the only option we have, you know. Sometimes if you've got options, then you can choose. But for yeah. us, I don't know what I can do based on what I'm doing now. So it looks like I'll be locked, you know, I'm in prison. <laughs> but uh, we will keep fighting, we will keep working hard. Yeah, and we shall overcome. Of course, of course, definitely. Then our topic for today, investing in black business is leading to building a strong black economy. This is really a powerful topic, isn't it? What is your take on the topic in the first place? Let me be realistic, yeah? Anything that comes with black businesses is something that I'm interested in, mm -hmm. you know? First and foremost, um, I'm an African. You know, I'm an African, and you know, we've got people in diaspora that are also from African descent. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the only way forward for all of us is to come together and, and create a very giant economy, mm -hmm. a economy full of Africans, economy that would actually help us and help our descendants so we don't go back to the ancient, of, ancient days and say, hey, you couldn't do nothing. An economy that will make our, our future um, youth, um, future youth, and the future leaders see what is better for themselves, what is better for the next generation. An mm -hmm. economy or businesses where, where we can actually train ourselves, inspire ourselves, mm -hmm. help ourselves, and move ourselves to the next level. Mm -hmm. Th these are things that really, really makes me interested in um, um, mm -hmm. things, uh, topics like this. You know. Because my, my personal um my personal um ambition, you know, my own, my my sole purpose in life is to um help Africans develop a different kind of mentality, you know, the tiger mentality, the lion mentality, the ego mentality, mm -hmm. so they can navigate the terrain of life and move forward through business and then raise a couple of millionaires here and there, hoping to raise forty five million millionaires in forty five years time, you know, to across Africa, I mean, um, to help us reduce this poverty rate. And we can only do this through businesses mm -hmm. and, and, and education and programs like what you're doing right now. You can never do it without any other means, not politically, not um, religiously. You can't do it through any other means. The lion mentality, the eagle mentality. Yeah, the beast These mentality. ways are very unique, isn't it? Yeah, they're quite unique, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> so which one is the lion mentality? You know, lions are they are very, very um, fierce animals. Mm -hmm. but at the same time, they are very calm animals. Mm -hmm. See, they they rarely make sound, but when they do, it goes, it travels five miles. Mm -hmm. 
that is to show you how powerful they can be. A typical example of a lion attitude is this BLM, Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter, that came up recently. Mm -hmm. Black lives n never really mattered before. Mm -hmm. But when we decided that finally a life must matter, it mattered, and we heard it. Mm -hmm. It was heard across the ends of the world, mm -hmm. deep in the ocean and deep in the skies. Mm -hmm. Everyone heard, uh, heard us, you know. Now, now, this is the lion mentality. You do things and you make people know that you're doing it. Mm. You, you, you go into the beast mode. You don't feel, you know, even when you lose the animal, when you lose the, 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 the meat, even when you, you lose the gazelle, you still strive for the best. Mm. You move on to the next one. So every day we are on our feet because the lion, the lion is the king of the jungle. Mm. And kings don't joke. Mm. Kings don't sleep. Kings don't mess around with their lives. A little sleep, a little slumber, and you become broke. Lions mm. never grow lean. Unless you capture a lion, a lion will never grow lean. They will always stay fat, they will always grow big, and they will always look strong and fierce and fearful. And they, will, they, are, they are almost always fearless. A lion will take on an elephant, even though the elephant is almost 5, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 times bigger than the lion. It will still take on the elephant. Mm. A lion will go to battle knowing he's going to lose, but it will still go to the battle and attempt to win and most likely win. You know, the, the ego mentality, egos know when to fight, who to fight, how to fight, where to fight, and, 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 and who, and you know, all these W to fight, and the H, the four Ws and the H, the one H, which is the how to fight. Egos don't fight on land. They come, it doesn't matter what you think you are, a python, a snake, whatever it is, it will take you to the skies. Mm. There, it changes the terrain, it changes the, it changes the battle, you lose. It kills you straight up and drops you dead from the skies. Eagles would attempt to lift a human being. It was one of the reasons why the Chinese actually never really um, wore shares when they were going to the... Uh, the Asians never really wore shares when they were going to the forest. Because an eagle could lift you by the, with a shirt mm -hmm. and send you up. If an eagle can lift a human being and send him up or her up, imagine what it will do to other animals. Mm. So, so these are the mentality we need to have. We need to have the mentality of success. We don't have nothing. You don't back down. Lions don't back down. In the night, they hunt. In the day, they hunt. Eagles don't lose hope. They see from afar. They hunt. It doesn't matter what or who you think you are, an eagle will hunt you. But do you have? Do you think we have got this mentality to really develop mm. the businesses that can drive the continent? Some do and some don't. How many? That, I, I think many of us. Or do you think many of us? us? Many of us don't. You know, it is it, it, it is what makes um. Our life a little difficult, you know. We we want to, you know. And the truth of the matter is, if you wish to, you can do it. Mm. You know, if you wish to do it, you can do it. You know, most of us want to do something better with our lives, but we don't wish to, wish to do something better with our life, but we don't want to do it. You know, we are wishful thinkers mostly, but some mm. of us do have the mental, uh, the ego, and the lion mentality, the beast mentality. Mm. You know, you wake up in the morning, you hunt the gazelle. Mm. Some of us do have that mentality. Personally, I don't go to sleep when I'm tired. I don't go to sleep when, when things go rough. Um, I mean, sometimes we do, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like 100%, 100%. Sometimes we do, but most times we don't. It's the most time that really counts. The, the overlapping majority, that really counts over here. Mm. So we don't have that kind of mentality over here. Most people around me know that, see, you can call me almost always during the day and during the night. Except for all in the morning before 9 a.m. that I uh, probably most likely asleep. But four, three, two, one o'clock, I'm almost always awake. Trying to work, trying to read, trying to do something else, trying to talk to somebody, advise somebody, trying to reach, you know, get something into my head. Mm. You know? So these are the things that we, we have to pick up, you know? But it's difficult. I'm telling you, it's difficult for Africans to see mm. this light. But I can see the light at the end of the tunnel that many people will come to this realization that they need to have the ego mentality. They need to have the beast mentality. And I'm proud of some people, yeah? I'm proud of how some people are now moving towards establishing their minds. Mm -hmm. and, and most especially the program that we're doing. It, it accounts for the reason why I have made up my mind that no matter what, I will do everything I can to, I can to repeat myself on this show. Mm -hmm. As much as I can, as many as I can, to help the world, to help Africa, to help mm -hmm. black community develop a different kind of, and a unique kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. One that will help them in their future, in their, in their, their children, in their children's children, to the 10th generation, so each generation can help the next generation. Mm. It's our sole prerogative. We can't do much in life. What else will we do if we don't build ourselves? Do you think Black Lives Matter? Oh, yes. It has, 
has really got a role to really make businesses better? Or do you think it's just a social movement that is just fighting for injustice? Uh, let me be realistic with you, right? This is going to be very controversial, what I'm about to say. Black Lives Matter, 100%. Do I think it's a social construct? Yes, I do absolutely believe it's a social construct. See, like I said, I'm about to say something really controversial, but it's the most, it's the truthful thing I can say. More blacks die from the hands of blacks than whites and um, blacks do in the hands of whites. Mm. True. If our lives really matter, and it matters to us as much as we claim it should matter to us, then we must stop destroying ourselves. Mm. We must stop destroying our own business and we must start helping each other. Mm. Up until that time, our lives will only matter because of our mouths. Not because not, not because of social construct, not because of economic place. Mm. You know? We, and I think we started somewhere. We, now our voices are being heard across Africa. We know it's now it starts with, I don't care last, don't do this, don't do that. It's, it, I, I, I hope to God you know, later it goes to, we won't kill ourselves, we won't kill ourselves, and then sooner you know, or later it goes to, we will help our jobs, we will help those that have established jobs, and then sooner or later, it goes to, we will start the jobs, we will start more jobs and help each other. Mm. You see, currently we are in the social construct, with the social construct being, we just want these people to do stop doing whatever they're doing and do something we want them to do. But we ourselves are not going to stop doing the same thing we're asking them to do. Mm. We want um, the white the white police people, the police to stop killing us, but we've not considered how much we kill each other. We've not considered how much, whether physically or mentally, we kill each other more than the whites do. Actually, we kill each other our businesses, we kill each other our mentality, we kill each other our jobs, we kill each other, literally kill each other more than any other thing. Do you think we are not that united? We have the most population in the world, the largest, the largest population of any clan, any race, any race, we have the largest in the world. It is so believed that by 2015, 2016, yeah, 45, over, let's say 45, over 50% of the entire world population will be, will be made of blacks. Mm. And this includes um, um, mixed race that are, that, that are black, you know, with black, uh, black origin in their, in, in their, in their blood, you know, in their veins, in their, in their pigments. People, more pigmented people will be available, will, will, will be on earth. So are we united enough? We're not. We, we are not from Africa, not in America. We certainly are united even um, together. You asked, you, I, I watched a video recently yeah, where some black lady or African-American lady was talking kind of, you know, rubbish about Africa. You know, y'all live in a jungle and all these kind of stuff, you know. Y'all don't know anything. I, I bet to God she hasn't ever been to Africa before, but she so she so believes this we live in a jungle, yeah, and that we are not civilized, and even in your country we are poor. All this here, the other thing that the mainstream media tells them to do. Notwithstanding the fact that she hasn't been to Africa before, she hasn't even seen Africa before. Mm. Are we united? No, we are not. If we are united, united, even in the states, we would help each other. Even in Africa, we would help each other and not put knives to our throat. We are killing mm. ourselves. Man. We are killing ourselves. We are killing our businesses. Because if we are not united, because there is one thing question I was asking myself sometime that I'm not sure, but it's hardly I've seen black black people in partnership that will be able to build business, long lasting businesses, right? Yeah. We cannot even form partnership in business. And it's either there is controversy along the way, so everybody goes their separate way we are not saying it doesn't happen in other cultures but for us i find it like it looks like we don't even trust each other for us to even build businesses together what is your take on that it's absolutely true i've been i've been a fish in such a pond you know i've, I've been a fish in such a pond where people um we I, I tried to partner with some people and it went, it went haywire like it, went, it just went dark mm. It went so dark, I promised myself not to do that again until I realized that, see, you can't move forward in life without, without partnering. Mm -hmm. well, and then I started opening myself up to partnership and, and then all that kind of stuff. See, across the globe, yeah, there are few companies that people are able to make it. And most of these companies, they actually did it themselves, like Fubu, you know, um, Damon John. Fubu, black business, making big, big impact, doing certain great things. Dan Gauthier, Aliko, Dan Gauthier. This WWT, uh, this Stewart, yeah, Stewart, Stephen Stewart or something, I've forgotten his name. 
in worldwide technology or something of the sort, WWT, you know, the internet kind of stuff, internet business. He's also creating impact, $10 billion in annual revenue or 15, 10, 8 to $10 billion in annual revenue. He's making impact, yeah? But most of the time, we, when we go into partnership, we, we have this sort of mentality that it, it must be my own. Mm. If it's not mine, I won't, I won't put in all the best I can. You know, I was advising my case sister a few, a few um, I think last week, sometime last week or last two weeks, yeah? She had a job offer. And then they, when she got the job offer, it's been less than a month. And then they're they trying to increase the job load on her. So she was like, P, I, I, I think I want to quit this job. I want to quit. They're increasing my job load. I was like, you know what? Don't quit. You can't quit. You want a job? Yeah? Do it. How many hours are you spending in the workplace? Eight hours. That's what he's paying you for. Eight solid hours. It doesn't matter what you're doing. See, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. So long as you're being productive during the eight hours. And you can do the job. Do it. One day, it will pay off. Mm. So she decided to take the job. And then they, they, they lifted her position this is my kid's sister yeah they literally change the position to something better assistant whatever whatever it is and now she's enjoying she's happy that they change the position she came to me saying see I'm, I'm really grateful you told me not to quit the job because i almost quit and i'm grateful now they when i accepted the offer they also changed my offer for me and gave me something better with good money mm. and, I'm, and, I, and i like this if we all have such mentality to help each other right? To not forfeit whatever we are doing, to help build businesses. It don't matter whether you are, you are um, how do you call it, employee. You are a partner in the company. You are a CEO of the company. You are somebody just, you know, you're, you're an investor in the company. You know, that's one of the difficult things to find in Africa, in African investors. It doesn't matter what you think you are, who you are, what you do in the company. If you want to, and you have to, and you need to, and you must, please do something better for the company. If you want to be, if you want it to be done, you got to do it yourself. Help them, help us, partner. You know, let us partner among us. So we are not doing this. We are not doing the best we can. I think there's more room for improvement. Africans want to have the best in, in the world, but Africans don't want to put in the best in the world. I can, I will never, I, I've never seen head or anybody that put that had the best without putting in the best. Not even Dangote. See, it is true. True, true to God, um, Dangote had had um, his grandfather being the richest man in Africa during his time. True to God. Um, Jeff Amazon. Jeff Bezos' parents gave him $250,000 to when Amazon was failing in 1995. True to God, Bill Gates' mother did something to help Bill Gates land the OS gig with IBM. But at the same time, true to God, we are the same people that purchase their stuff. And mm. if we if we would only use the same effort to mm. help our sons, our daughters, our un un uncles, our nephews, our nieces, our neighbors, you know, our country fellow, our continental fellow, our pigment fellows. You know, you know, if you could help each other, we are all melanin in skin, isn't it? We all have melanin in our body. Even if you don't have melanin in your body and you call yourself black or you call yourself African or somebody from African descent, descent whether you're from um, Algeria or whatever, you still have to come together and help each other. Mm. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you are. So long as you decide and you think you're an African or you decide to help an African, let's come together. Let's join hands. Together we stand, divided we fall. And it's not... Each one for himself, God for us all. It is together we make Africa. God will make Africa greater for us. If we are not together, there is no God. I don't think God will do anything for Africans. We've all sat down, worshipped God for how many years? 600, 500, 400, 300 years. What has it become of us? And that is not because God doesn't exist. Because the same people that worship God in the Western country, regions, is the same people, the same God we are worshipping over here. And the same God is doing miracles over there, but not here. How? Because the people have decided that they will do something better for themselves. Why not now? Why not us? Wow. Wow. Do you think we can ever build a strong economy, like, for example, how the Asians and the Jews are doing? Do you think we can really do that? I think we can. I think we can. And I know we can. Not just, not, not just because I think. I really know we can. A typical example is me. I moved myself from zero to what I am today. Mm. See, from homeless to what I am today. Mm. I don't really like to tell people the story about being homeless and stuff, but I think sometimes it encourages people. From nothing to what I am today. Whatever it is anybody sees me to be, I came from nothing. From the sun was I made. Mm. And from zero did I come. I started my business with 0, 0.00. Literally, graduated university. I called my mom on phone. I never saw my mom for two years. I told my mom, you know what, I'm going to Accra. I'm going to start a business. And I did. Here I am. Here I am. And I am doing it. I'm not losing hope. See, there are days and there are weeks and there are months that I feel like, 
no, no, this is, I must quit. And then my innermost being will tell me that, okay, pack your things and go. Pack. Then my innermost being will tell me that, okay, fine. One day you'll be successful if you continue this journey. But don't, don't worry. Success isn't for you. Pack your things and go home if you don't want it. Mm. Then I'll reconsider. So you that you, are, you want to change people's mind. Now you, your mind is even weaker than them. Mm. What would you do? Then I'll advise myself and I'll pick up my pieces and then I'll, come, I'll put myself together and I'll go to work and I'll work. Mm. And I've put in such effort over and over and over again without ever, ever quitting. I don't quit ever. I've never quit before. And I don't quit. I have made attempts to quit, but I never quit. We can come together and do the same thing. If we all choose not to quit, trust me, we'll form the greatest ally and the greatest economy in the world. Already, they are calling us the, 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 the fastest growing economy. Why do you think they are calling us the fastest growing economy? Because they know what they can get from here. They're getting the cobalt from DRC, the, the gold from South Africa and Ghana. They're getting my magnesium in the bauxite side from West Africa and then some eastern um, um, central part of Africa. They're getting all these rare minerals from us. They think I made batteries and then engines and stuff and, and mobile phones. They're getting it from us. So they're telling you you are the fastest growing economy when you are, you are actually not making anything. What if we come together and build ourselves, you know, and make ourselves greater? We can do it. We just don't do it, but we can. And we will. I believe to God we will. Together, you know, little by little, we'll get there. Wow. Little by little, we will get there. Do you think Africans in diaspora have got a role to play to yes. build the strong economy that we need? Yes. And there is one thing I really talk about Africans in diaspora. I think Africans in diaspora, have they have not been treated well by those back home. Now, I, when I speak to a lot of Africans in diaspora, Almost everybody have got a story to tell that there is a resources they took back home, there is a business they took back home, and those back home really mismanaged it. Okay. And a lot of people have really given up dealing with those back home. Do you think that something good is going to come out? Because I believe that lots and lots of people have given up when it comes to creating wealth or starting a business or investing in the Africa we want to see. What is the on that? I think, I think it's, I mean, actually, I know what you're talking about. It's very, very true. I've, I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen people do that and they, they, they failed. But most of the people that I saw actually attempted to do business with their own family members. And if there's anything you can attempt in life that will fail you, it's your own family. See, blood is thicker than water, but not today. Mm. Not today, today. Is thinner, eh? it's not. <laughs> Today, blood is not thicker than water. Water can be dense than blood. Mm -hmm. Water can be so dense. The only blood which is thicker is the blood which has been cut mm -hmm. from the skin, which is drying up. And the drying blood is dead blood. Mm -hmm. So you see, blood is no longer thicker than water. I yeah. tell you, while alcohol may, may be lighter than water, water is also thicker than blood nowadays. See, the people that are in your family are the same people that will condemn you. I have seen, with my own eyes have I seen. Today, I'm, I'm glad I'm talking about personal experiences, you know. I've seen people whose family have dejected them. I've seen people whose family have mismanaged their fortune. Mm. I've seen people whose family have mismanaged their fortune. I've seen people who brought money back to Africa for them to construct homes. And they came back and there was nothing over there. I've seen people who brought money to, for them to do businesses. And there was nothing there. See, right partnership is key. Not just ordinary partnership, right partnership. You know, I've got, I, 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 there's somebody that I'm about to um, do some certain things with um, very soon um, from the UK, you know? It's a matter of being having the right partner. Mm. When, when I chose to be um, decided that, okay, fine, you know what, I'm going to stay in Ghana and I'm going to do everything I want to do and I'll do it over here until I feel like you now I have to extend my branches and go to Nigeria, South Africa, and perhaps go to um, UK and do certain kind of business over there. I, I decided that I'm going to make better people uh, as partners. Now, all these people from diaspora, if they could find the right person to, to partner with, and I tell you, it's very difficult to locate the right person. But it's also not impossible. Hold on to your money. Come back to Africa. Start it. Mm. Go. Come back to Africa. Make sure it is working. Mm. Leave. Control it from afar. Don't just leave it to somebody else. See, your, what, put, put your hope where your money is. Put your love where your money is. If you put your heart in a different place than where your money is, and you put your mind in a different place than where your money is, you're going to lose. Put your mind and your heart every, over there where your money is. And that is where your mouth will flow. Because mm -hmm. if you leave your money and your 
everything for other people, they are going to cause you harm. And this is true for almost everybody I've seen. You know, we can do it. We can help each other. We can make the partnership work, but we have to make it right. We have to select the right people. Open to partnership, I am. Oscar is open to partnerships, and I believe Oscar has got people in Africa. I know, I know AJ mm -hmm. was your, 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 your trainee, you know, your mentee, who has been picking up from you, you know, with a little mm -hmm. help from here and there. You know, like, there are people over here, the young guys, they are very young people over here. They are even mature people. I know one man like this called your Hastings, who, who, are, who is very, very reliable. People all over the world call him and try to put in, put in certain kind of partnership with him. Such a person, when you partner with such a person, I think he's the one leading the Ghana uh, um, road, Aplau to um, Tema Road now, from, with, with British um, BHM, you know, and the British High Commission. Like, partner, such strong ally. Mm. If you're able to put your money through to better people, I haven't gotten to the stage where I can take people's millions of dollars and say, I'll manage it for you. No, I haven't gotten there. But at least the little bit, a little million, one million, or a bit of half of that time, I think we can put together money here and there and then do it because that's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm doing now. I'm not even about to do it. Mm. Pushing my, my effort into real estate and stuff. I'm a tech guy. But you see, certain kind of partnership makes sense. Mm -hmm. Certain kind of partnership makes sense. You cannot trust your family with your money. Man, yeah, your family, you can't do much. You can never loan money to somebody who you can't take your money back. Mm. You, you just have to dash the money to the person. So if you try partnership with your family, you only, you've only shot your foot, uh, your, 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 your foot, one of your foot. You are, you are waiting for the bullet to go off on the mm. second foot. And you can't walk no more. You can't even limp no more if you do that. Mm. It's a pain. Understand the applied. It's a pain. It's a border. It, it's troublesome. And it's troubling. Mm. And we have to change that mentality. We back home. Those back home need to change the mentality. We that we are here, we have to take the money and then do what is right. We have to know that the toll, the toll of our brothers, the toll of our friends and families in diaspora, mustn't go waste. We shouldn't do that, and it, sh it shouldn't be done. You know. So you are advising that they need to rather invest in the proper way, and you are saying yeah. that family should be the least consideration, right? Yes, family is the last on the list. Mm. Family should always, always be the last on your list. You can't trust your family with your mother. I'm not saying you cannot. You can't trust your family with your money. I mean, you can't trust your family with your money. I'm not saying your family cannot be trusted with money. But you shan't and you shouldn't trust families with your money. It's tragedy. I mean, if your brother needs money and, and he uses your money, what can you say? You only be having troubles with your brother. Mm. And it shouldn't be so. Your family, you shouldn't be fighting. Yes, if your brother needs money, give it to your brother. But don't give your, your brother the money you want, to, you, you want to use for business. The same applies to people that go to church and give the church their entire profit. They don't understand the meaning of profit. Your entire startup, startup capital. You go and give your seed capital to the church and say, God, please bless me. God is not going to bless you. He's not crazy. Mm. You dashed your money free. Mm. It's free money you're giving to the church. The church will take it because they have their arms open. And they didn't ask you to come and give the money. You gave it. But we need to know which kind of money you're supposed to give and to whom we are supposed to give the money to. Don't give your starting capital, startup capital to um, your seed capital and your startup capital to your church. Mm. in hopes that God will bless you. God doesn't bless people that way. Mm. Don't give your um, your startup capital to your family and say that, oh, my brother, I trust you so much, especially if your brother is not in the same field with you. Mm. And not, not in the same field, of, in the same line of duty. Say, my brother, okay, leave your um, doctorship and come and do business on this particular front, on the economics frontier. The money is going to go waste. Mm. If your brother has a business and you have to invest in it, that is the difference by investing in it. And mm. I promise you, if he's a serious person, your money will, your money will actually yield um, good benefits. Other than that, why waste your money? I think trustworthiness is a big of challenge, isn't it? Yes, it is. Trust is a token. Mm. It's a double-edged sword. I tell people trust is a token always. People ask me why. I said, if I give you my trust, I've given you a piece of myself, and that token leads you directly to my heart. Mm. It leads you directly to my heart and leads you directly to my mind. Many men have gone mad because of trust. M misplaced trust. Mm. You know, the doctors that... Um, did Michael Jackson's, um, I said the doctors that, the, the lawyers that did Michael Jackson's um, um, death case, you know, that they said the doctor was the one that did whatever. There was one statement they made. Mike, Michael trusted, MJ trusted the doctor with his life. And that trust was a misplaced trust. Mm. I don't know whether that is true or that is false, but that statement is as true as it could possibly ever, ever get to. You can put your trust in somebody and it will be a misplaced trust and it will cost you your life. Mm. It will cost you your life. 
Many men have fallen because of that. Many great men have fallen because of that. Many great women have fallen because of that. Mm. Something is a typical example in the Bible. Something in the Bible. He fell. Mm-hmm. All because he misplaced, he placed the trust in the wrong person, Delilah. Mm. Mm. Wow. This is this is getting quite interesting. And, and and I believe that it's not easy. We 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 are far behind, not because actually we don't have the resources, but I believe it's because of these soft skills like being honest, being trustworthy, understanding each other, having patience for businesses to grow. And I think these are the one of these are the few challenges that I believe is hindering us because when it comes to resources, we can always build it from somewhere, isn't it? Yes. You know, I, I, I often say this, and I think I've said it here before. It's not the resources that is really important, your resourcefulness. Mm-hmm. How resourceful you are, that is the most important thing in life. Mm-hmm. You know, because the resources can shield, can 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 fade, mm-hmm. but your resources, your, your resourcefulness should never fade. Mm-hmm. How trustworthy are you? How how kind are you how caring are you how good are you towards other people and their businesses you know how hard working are you how smart working are you mm. you know how all these sort of um, good qualities how, what is your percentage on the good qualities in life mm. what percentage of it do you have many uh, people do not have that especially in a, in, a, in a part of the world in africa many people don't know how how to have resilience in starting a business, maintaining a business, and keeping the business afloat, even in, in terms of difficulties. Mm. Many people just fold up and fold their arms and go and sleep. Mm. You know, but it shouldn't be so. If you give somebody something, I expect you expect that you should expect the person to do whatever that is right. One of the things, one of the problems I have with the people that always work with me is, um, if you say you will do it, please do it. And if I'm paying you to do the job, you better give me the right result. Mm. Definitely, so, definitely. Yeah, you better be giving the right result. And I'm not joking with it. You know, like you can't do it, then leave. I'm not here to come and pamper you and come and make you give you my waste my money on you when I could actually um use my money on the right person. I don't I won't waste my money on you. If I'm training you, that's a different story. And even personally, I do not train fools because I do believe you shouldn't fund the mess up mess with fools. Mm-hmm. You see, a fool will only waste your time and your talent. Mm-hmm. You know, fools only live in fooleries. Wow. And 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 you you shan't waste your time on fools. Jesus Christ never even did it. Mm. Why would I? I'm, I'm not better than Christ. Mm. I feel he didn't even do it. Why would I do that? I don't waste my time on the fool. If you think you want to do something and you have to and you must and you wish to do it, that is the time that I will help you. Do it. Some people come to me, they want to know something, certain things, but they're not ready for it. Okay, call me at this time. They won't call you. They'll call you the next two days. I'll be like, okay, I said, call me this time. I can't talk right now, please. Mm. It doesn't look to me like you're serious with your own thing. Mm. You don't tell me to call you at a particular time because of me needing your help. And I will fail you. Never. I would never fail you. I will call you right before the time and make sure everything works right. And we all need to develop such attitude. It's called the beast mentality and the mm. ego mentality. Mm. Do you think black businesses support each other or do we support each other? Because look, I think the problem, one of the problems we have is that when I see Peter doing something and I can support Peter, we don't do it most of the times. But we rather fold our arms and watch how far Peter can go. Do you think this is really helping us? That is my personal take anyway. Somebody told me that, young man, your ideas are too big. Go and be thinking about small, small things that will require 3,000 Ghana cities. If anybody doesn't know how much 3,000 Ghana cities is, it's equivalent to um, $600 or 650 USD. Mm. So a man told me that go and Think of jobs that require only six hundred and six hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars starting capital, and that, those only can help you. This your big big ideas, you know. You leave it for the whites to do it. They 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 don't fly in Africa. <laughs> Such fooleries. Mm. Such bovine statements that you can tell a young person that is uh, an, an aspiring leader in the future. You see, it's, it's my my head teacher will say bovine stupidity. <laughs> you know how it's preposterous, outlandish. How can a human being in their reasonable mind? Decide, if, uh, see, even if you do not support somebody, please don't demoralize the person. Mm. And we are fond of pulling people down, giving the people the PhD syndrome. We will pull you down if you want to go forward. Mm. But there's an account program that says a person that climbs the proper tree is the one that we push. Mm-hmm. If you climb the right tree, we push. But in Africa, in Ghana, in most black communities, African American communities, and all these people, whenever you are climbing the right, um, right tree, they ask themselves, why is it I wasn't the one that climbed it? 
Mm. Please get on and let me climb. And if you can't get on, you see that you're working all your stuff. They say, okay, do it. If you think I can do it, let's pray he feels and let's make him feel. Some people even go to the extent of making sure that your business fails. Mm. It is terrible. It's a bad behavior and we have it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit on TTY TV UK and say, oh, it doesn't exist in Africa. It doesn't exist with the, within the black. It exists a lot. We would rather go and support the white man, saying that the white man is more intelligent. Yes, in, he may be intelligent. What happened to the one black man that is intelligent? Mm. Why can't you just sponsor him, help him, you know, invest in him? You know, sometimes you don't even have to do much. All you have to do is to just share some Facebook post. One, checkmate. Mm. And that one Facebook post could link to somebody else. And the person would what? Um, call and say, I'm buying through your stuff. Mm. It's easy. I was just recommending somebody. Mm. You know, how difficult can it be? I mean, trust me, how difficult can it be to share someone's Facebook stuff? Mm. It's free. I don't know how much you're paying for Facebook, mm. but I mean, I'm using it for free. Mm. If I share people's stuff, I don't, I've never seen, I've never shared anybody's stuff that Facebook to say, okay, you are sharing TTI TV's um, video, so it is $20 paid. No, it's free. Mm. How, how, yes, of course, I spend time to come on this show to come and speak to you, but trust me, how much will it cost me to speak on this show? Mm. And what, what would be the benefit if I do, if I do this? Mm. The cost, if I'm, if I charge 60, 70, 80 dollars an hour, that is how much I'm losing. It's only one hour I spend on this show. Mm. One hour, 15 minutes, one hour, 45 minutes, whatever it is, I spend on this show. And the impact, it helps a whole lot of people. Mm. What is the cost? Mm. What is the cost of us neglecting our own businesses and our own support? Mm. Why can't we just spend one minute, one hour, two days, one day, one week of the entire year just to support mm. ourselves? Bless you. People will watch movies instead of supporting you. They would watch Netflix. Mm. I, I think that there is a Nigerian guy that did a video during this end SARS um, uh, that is happening That's in Nigeria. Crazy. And he made a video and he says, Guineans are living in heaven. They've got everything. Even their policeman will say, please. The, 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 the. He also made another mention that um, um, Ghanaians have got electricity. You've got everything. But there's only one problem that you have. You don't love each other. <laughs> yeah. Everyone for himself. God for us all. Yes. We don't support ourselves. Like, if this one is doing that, and it, it, that there's more greed and jealousy from the other side. Like, Oh, uh, we don't want him to succeed. So even if we cannot do anything to help him, we will fold our arms. We just and 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 sometimes when you fail, this is why you see what people are saying behind your back. And I know you shouldn't concentrate on that, but I believe it's really preventing us from growing as a continent. And I think this problem probably cuts across other African countries, isn't it? It's true. You know, it's very, very true. You see, one of the things, I'll tell you a story, yeah, what, to support what the guy said. There was a time in um, 2014, was it 2014? Yeah, um, I think so. I was doing my national service at 37, yeah, and I didn't have money. So I was um, walking from East Legon Hills to um, 37, and that is about 24 kilometers. Mm. If nothing at all, it will be around, um, no, it's more than 24 kilometers. Roughly 25 kilometers, 26, 27 kilometers, right? Because even if you're driving, it's, it's like 40 minutes drive. Mm. So it's probably like 30 kilometers or some, somewhere there. And I was walking. So I had crossed like 15 um, or 10 kilometers. It's probably even more than 30 kilometers. I've crossed like 10 kilometers and I was getting tired. So I told a friend, uh, I, I said I told a friend, I told myself that, you know what, let me just stand. It was early in the morning. So people are driving their cars through that lane. Let me just stand and then um, stop these cars that are going. See if somebody can give me this kind of. Um, let me hitchhike on, on hitchhike on someone's um, crib, right? Let me just um, backbench on someone's car. So I was stopping these cars. All these people were not stopping. See, and I'm not talking about um, a poor neighborhood or anything. I'm talking about rich people driving four by four wheel drives and then these um, saloon cars and all these kind of nice nice cars. None of them stopped. So even asking, hey young man, where are you going? There was a car parked like 150 meters from where I was standing trying to stop the cars. He had parked there, watched me for like 10 minutes. Stop all these cars when all these people were rejecting, reject, neglecting me. So I, when I decided to move forward, he drove his car and came and said, hey, young man, where are you going? I said, I'm going to 37. He said, hop in. When I hopped in, 
I realized he was a Nigerian. Do you know the first statement he made? Mm. He said, I have been sitting down waiting for you for, for more than 10 minutes. And I've realized one thing. Did you forget that your people, you don't help each other? Mm. I am not going to 37, but this is what I can do. I will drop you along the way in a way that you can easily get to 37. So he was driving his own car. When we were about to, when, when I, was, I, was, I was about to get down, he gave me the last piece of money he had and said, you know, I don't carry money to work. I carry my card and I carry food. Mm. I like to eat my wife's food. So um, take this money that I have water in my car. I normally use it to buy gum and things. Take this money and use it to pick car. At least you can go to work, you can eat, and then you can come back home. Oh. Take it. And I was stunned. Mm. And his statement is so true. We don't help each other. Mm. There are people, there are Ghanaians that help. I'm not saying it's 100%. Yeah. It's like 94, 95, 96% that don't help. Mm. My mentor, the man I call my mentor, which I admire on all facets, on all counts. I admire the way he's trained his children. I admire the way his marriage is going. I admire the way he makes his business. I admire his speech. He speaks wisdom throughout. If you ever hear me speak anything which is sensible, chances are the man was the one that explained certain things to me and I picked it from there. Mm. Or I read some book over here and there. Or I just sat down to think incredibly about something, you know. But he's so wise and he's so kind. It's amazing. How some people are kind, but others aren't. How? How is that even possible that we do this to ourselves? We don't support mm. ourselves and we, we, don't, we are not kind to each other. We don't love each other. It is very true we don't love each other. Mm. We have this, oh, oh, he made it, he made it. <laughs> I know him, I know him. Oh, this boy, oh, I'm this, oh. Mm. Ha, ha. Is it not this? I know despite he was selling CDs in the market. I tell you, I know Peter anymore. He was doing Oscar. Oscar show, T2I TV UK. Go and ask Oscar. Me, we've met. I mean, I met Oscar. Oscar told me about Peter Nimo. Now Peter Nimo is rich. Oh, he, oh, oh, he was my friend. My friend was my friend. Meanwhile, mm. he personally hasn't even spoken to me, or he never shared my thing. Oh, he, I even helped him. One day, ah, uh, they will give you the stories. Just and then they will come to you and they will ask you for money. And if you don't give them the money, you have trouble. Mm. Even though we will give the money, but like I said, we don't help fools. Mm -hmm. Anybody that will waste your money, waste your time, waste your talent, waste your skill, waste everything of yours, don't associate yourself with the person. Mm. It's damaging. It's, it's quite interesting. And I think these are some of the hindrances that is really preventing us to really build the black economy that we want to see. Mm -hmm, yeah. Invest in black businesses that we want to see. I always say that helping somebody is not only about money. Sometimes even you're encouraging ways to say, look, whatever you have started, but this mm. is this is the situation where people come to you and they start even discouraging you, like somebody telling you that look <laughs> your vision is too big just go and look for a business that is going to cost about six hundred dollars startup and i think these things are the things that really brings us down and i know some people they give up because it's like look it, it looks like people think what i'm doing is crazy and a lot of people don't have that in-depth wisdom understanding knowledge and that mindset to really understand that look i'm going to carry this through so a lot of people give up along the way just because one person made a statement that really did not align to what they really wanted to do now what do you think are some of the current challenges of small businesses and startup that we see on the continent especially in ghana sustainability one investment two um potential i mean growth potential three um ability to navigate through difficult times four mm -hmm. we have uh, our social construct five the social construct really goes uh, go against the women mostly right social construct five um it goes against the women and yeah can you women. explain can you explain a bit more with the women okay, so this is how, this is how um most people call it um um how do you call it how do you put it in paternal what patriarchy mm -hmm. i don't think it's exactly patriarchy but i think it goes this way the rich the men the beautiful ladies mm -hmm. then the poor people come last or the broke people come last this is how the construct is mm -hmm. the rich will always and have always been on top of the food chain mm -hmm. and they only give support themselves mm. the rich don't support ordinary men hardly would you find that happening mm. and 
businesses for, for ordinary men barely grow. Now, from ordinary men, then it comes to beautiful women. If you are beautiful, then these rich people or rich men or women or whatever it is want to take advantage of you. And mm -hmm. if you don't give in, you are going down the drain. You are, you are equal to um, the poor man. Mm -hmm. As for the beauty, it doesn't matter whether you are poor or you're in the middle class. They want to take advantage of you. And this is true. Mm -hmm. People like to take advantage of people. And it's so terrible. It's, 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 it's one of the reasons why the Me Too movement gained grounds, actually. Mm -hmm. Save for that, the Me Too movement would have been useless. Mm -hmm. It gained ground because most of these people wanted to help these beautiful ladies and they took advantage of them. Now, the next one will be the poor people. If you're a poor man, chances are you always be poor. It doesn't matter how incredible you think you are. That is in Africa, you mean? Yes. In Africa. Wow. If you're a poor man, chances are you always be poor. Me, um, I broke all these constructs and I told myself none of these things will limit me. Mm. None of these things. Not because I'm a guy and I'm not handsome, not because I'm, I'm poor, not because I'm a man, not because I'm not rich. None of these limitations will take me back. But this is limiting a lot of people, isn't it's it? It's limiting almost everyone. It limits almost everyone in business. That's doesn't have the capacity to sustain themselves mm. doesn't have the capacity to push themselves together you know if you don't have the financial finances yourself if you don't have certain things you sh see find a beautiful lady give her money tell her she should set up a company with the money and her beauty she'll make more money than a guy with the same money mm. why mm. see people see certain things and certain things that they're not supposed to see you see a beautiful lady and all you see is her beauty like i say she doesn't have a brain Mm. like it's sad it's very sad it's sad you see you see people with brains intelligence i've seen more there, there was one person that came to the show and i've always constantly admired the brain of that, that, that lady she was a doctor she's a doctor from the uk you know she she she's you can see that she's got some brains and she's going somewhere though i don't really really like to mingle much with many people so that people don't feel as if you are coming for them or anything i like to do things my own way and make sure that i'm moving right in the right direction before i can actually mm. go around with people so that we can be on the same class mm. or we can be at the same level do you get my point mm. but many a time these things limit people more than anything mm. this is a more limiting where you are where are you going to get investment from see i've got a ton, ton of ideas ton of ideas ideas that could have made me at least 100 million dollars by this year this year this coronavirus i pre-planned this thing i just didn't know it was corona that was coming i knew something devastating was going to come i just didn't know when i made plans and somebody told me my ideas was too stupid and it's too big that i should be looking for ideas worth three thousand cities i'll say seven hundred dollars or six hundred dollars i see if i don't have that six hundred dollars in my bank account mm. you see like it's it's pathetic you can't have help from nobody and when, when your business, you're, you're, you're doing the best you can, the people you are employing are pulling you down. They're not doing the best they can. They come to the office and they watch series. You download series with my internet. Get up and go home. You're not ready. Mm. You I think it's a, it's a serious mindset. And I think yes, this, this, is is that, this is something that we really need to work on. So, so for example, I've met so many young, young people and they will say, look, I have this business idea. I really discussed with this rich man with the aim that that person is going to support me. And before I realized he was doing my, he was really, uh, he has really established my business idea and working on it. And yeah. I think this is the matter, I think from the whole of to, tonight's conversation, I think the matter of trust has yeah. cut across everything. And I believe that we are not where we are just because we don't trust each other. And how can you work together if we don't trust each other? Oh, I tell you about my idea and you steal it. You don't support me. You go and implement it. And this is just true. It's happening on the continent. And how can other people come up from the poverty line to really come and support others and take them out of poverty? I think it's a, it's, a, it's a very serious issue that yes. I think we really need to talk about. And I think young people need to hear this. Never have an idea, prepare the idea 100%, go and give the idea to somebody else. You see, mm -hmm. there's something we call one pager. Anybody that doesn't have the, anybody that doesn't have the sense to push in the one pager doesn't want the best for you. Mm -hmm. If anybody cannot understand your one pager, please forget, forfeit it. Mm -hmm. Forfeit it. Because one, you cannot go to an, a, a prospective investor and say, see, I have an NDA here, sign. It doesn't work that way. They will need to understand certain things before they want to sign even an NDA to go further. 
before you move further please find a one um, page if you don't know what a one pager is i can give you mine see i have done plenty mm. ask co contact me find a way to get through to me facebook email whatever it is get through to me mm. you see and i'll and i'll show you how a one pager works like google it find it search it because if you go and give your idea to somebody go and sit down on these tv shows and say okay me i want to prepare fish i want to do this want, and this is how i'm going to prepare my fish i'm going to remove the intestines or the gills or the fish and and replace the fence with some golden things i'm going to do this and this is how the fish you show the idea mm. you shut yourself in the fort they will take it mm. see there are very few people that will not attempt it and i was speaking about this subject with my mentor and then his wife last just last week mm. was it last week oh today's friday isn't it Sat uh, today's yes, saturday. Saturday. Yeah, on Monday, just on Monday, on the Monday that passed. Why they were asking me, ah, P, so why is it that some of your ideas didn't fly? Why is it that, why is it that you don't speak about everything? Maybe somebody will, because my mentor is helping me. Now, he's pushing some partnerships here and there, even trying to get me some bigger gigs here and there. You know, he's really helping. And I wish, I wish I had met him in my earlier days in life. Mm. I, I wish all the people I spent my time going to, I hadn't gone to them. I had gone to this particular man first. And I had met him and he had met me some way, somehow. And we had picked up this bond earlier. Mm. And he said, if this boy sits with any human being and speak a quarter of his idea, the way he has even shared with me, two days time, his idea will be off the market. Mm. It will be off. It will be, it will be on, on the market. Somebody will be doing it. The same people that will say it will be doing it. Mm. He can't share his ideas. He's way too smart for that. Mm. And it is true. Some of us, we shouldn't share we should we, don't share your everything in your idea don't share everything in your idea it is catastrophic mm. it is just a bomb waiting to detonate c4 mm. it's an rpg sorted out properly in a way that is going to bomb you out and mm. it will wound your soul it will wound your heart the three was doing some show and one person's idea was missing mm. from it the next time they saw two months later somebody was doing it mm. somebody on the panel was doing it it's sad I heard story of the sort. It's sad. Mm. And, and uh, we've heard it plenty times. See, plenty. It's not today. It, it, will not, it, will not end, it, 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 has, it didn't start today. It will not end today. So please, guard yourself. Mm. Guard yourself. Guard yourself. Guard your thought, thoughts. Guide your ideas. Protect mm. yourself. Intellectual property. I met a friend yesterday that was talking to me about intellectual property. I was like, Peter, you need to do intellectual property of all your ideas. On all your ideas. You know? It will help you. Do it. Please. Trademark anything you have to trademark. Uh, and patent anything you got a patent mm. do everything you have to do but please make sure that whatever you do you don't give us your entire idea before mm. you begin the whole thing at least put it in sequence start small let them see the small if they want to pick the small the rest is in your head mm. the rest is in your head wow the rest thank you there is like amen <laughs> <laughs> you know the rest, wow. the rest is in your head you guide yourselves man this conversation is getting when it is getting more interesting then we need to really cut it short and uh, trust me i've really enjoyed everything but uh, just before we go let me just give a few mentions of our sponsors this program is sponsored by training to inspire consultancy your business training and consulting firm that is for all your business training cons contact train to inspire consultancy they also work with students especially tertiary and colleges in relation to their personal development also als global shipping and logistics your trusted import and export company based in accra als says if you are stranded at the port call them and they will sort you out also zp ghana limited your remittance and mobile money company based in ghana they just launched their ussd code for mobile money and that is star 270 hash just dial it on your phone and register for zp mobile money with ZPay Mobile Money, you don't need an agent to register. Just at the, just on your phone, you can just register for <laughs> ZPay Mobile Money. Then Hughes for sure, your car leasing for every credit based in the UK. Hughes for sure says it doesn't matter your credit history, you can walk out of the garage with a car of your choice. When you call them, quote T2I 2020. If you want to contact any of them, their number is scrolling on the screen. Please take them and contact them. Peter, it's been wonderful having you. I really enjoyed every bit of this discussion. Thank you. And it's always a wonder. What is your last word to everyone that is watching us? It's um, disheartening 
to do business and not get support. Mm. But it's more disheartening to lose your hope in whatever you are doing. Please, mm. if it must be done, it must be done well. Other than that, don't do it. Mm. If you if you are a young person, please make sure you become tr trustworthy. Trust is a token. It's a token that will send you to heaven. It's a mm. token that will send you to hell. Mm. It's a matter of being trustworthy. If you're a person with money, please help other people. Mm. There's nothing you can do on this earth other than helping people. That should be your essence, the very essence of life, you know. Also, please share your friends' businesses. Help each other establish a black um, or African-American or African economy. You know, Africa is a great continent. Mm. Africans are great people. Mm. African-Americans are no different. Please, let's help ourselves. We can't do without each other. Of course, mm. if you don't help me, me, I'll help myself. That's the essence of um, the help. There is, the essence of the, uh, the self is still help. Mm. So long as you give yourself self-help, even if anybody doesn't help you. If no one helps you, please help yourself. Join me. Let's help ourselves. Join Oscar. He's helping himself. Mm. But please, if you can help anybody, whether sharing Facebook posts, whether doing anything, help each other. Hold my hands. Hold his hand. Hold her hands. Hold Oscar's hand. Don't overlook, don't look at a woman and think her beauty is the only um, thing she's got. Women are more powerful than, than their beauty. Some of them are not even exactly so, 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 so pretty. But their brains are way more powerful than you and I combined. Mm. And that is true beauty. Don't look at men and say he's a poor man and he can't do anything in life. Hmm. Look at him. Look at Joe. One day, he'll be the one to feed you. Don't look at your brother who is doing well, bringing money back to, back to Africa and, and misuse his fund. Misappropriation of funds is terrible. Mm. Put yourselves in your shoe. Whatever the fund must be used for, please use it for. Don't do anything wrong to your neighbor. I'm not saying you have to live like an angel. What I'm saying is, no matter what you do, don't deliberately offend or step on anybody's toes. Mm -hmm. Your friend is moving forward. Push him. Your brother has started a business. Help him. Your neighbor has started a business. Share it. You don't know what will happen to that business. You don't know how your child... Could... You see, me, I am making friends with only people that have businesses. Mm. This is rule number one. Because when my child needs to work in a company, Biko, go to Oscar. Oscar mm. is my friend. Mm. Mm. Oscar, this is why I'm supporting Oscar's business. Uh -huh. to Oscar. Mm -hmm. Oscar, tell Oscar that Peter Animal says... That you are, you are Peter Animal's son. Yes. And Oscar will be proud of you, even mm. though you've not done anything. Mm. It doesn't even matter how stupid you may be. Of course. At least you get a shot. Of course. So please help other people build their businesses. That way, your descendants, even if you don't need it, your grandchild might need it. Mm. Because your grandchildren all cannot work in your company. Mm. It is almost impossible. Mm. I don't think Bill Gates' descendants and all his people and family are working in Microsoft. Mm. Not true. They are working somewhere. Help somebody establish something. Do something great with someone. Mm. Help each other. Don't become like the man that told me my idea was too big and I should go and look for this. I should go and think about this and I as if I don't have money in my pocket. Don't be like them. Be the man who said, P, I'm going to help you. And he's giving me advice upon advice and doing every single thing he, he, he can to help me. Now, always praise him for doing that. Be mm. like that. Be like Dangote who is working hard. Don't be like the other people that are not supporting black community. Be cool. Don't be like that. Be mm. something great because you're a greater person. You're a great person. Help mm. other people see their wealth. Mm. Your wealth is only in other people's wealth. You know, mm. if, like I was telling somebody, this is, I think I should pass this statement along. As a woman, the, the, your only value in life is the value, as, as a wife, your only value in life is the value you have when you take away your husband. Mm. Whatever that's the remainder, the coins. Mm -hmm. The coins that is rem remaining, or the or the pounds, or the the money that the, the value that is remaining in you when you t when we take away your husband, it's your actual worth. The same applies to a human being, every regular person. When your actual value is the value you take, you have when you've helped after helping other people. Now imagine if you've helped nobody, you have nobody, mm. because the the value is only measured after you finish helping somebody. Mm. So you have nobody. You are valueless. It doesn't matter how much money you think you have. Mm. And trust me, some very, very rich people are valueless. And I've, I've seen it with my own eyes. Mm. I can't mention names. Mm. So don't be like that. If you, if you don't have to have money to help somebody. Mm. Facebook is free. I mean, I'm using it for free. I don't know if you are paying in your country or wherever you are. 
on your phone. In my iPad, I just click on Facebook and I go and I share share mm. things and I browse. It's free. I haven't paid anything. Mm. They've not asked me to put my fingerprint to pay. No, I haven't seen that yet. So do that to help each other. Whatever you can, do the best you can. The black economy must grow. African economy must grow. And we, ca we cannot do it without ourselves. Mm. Please and please, I beseech all of us, brethren and sisters, let's help each other. Together we stand, divided we fall. We, we fall. There is no God anywhere other than the God that we all know. Mm. The God that you, whichever God you serve, he is right and he is true. And no God is saying that don't help each other. All the gods in the world say help each other. Mm. Please, let's help each other and let's make things right. Oscar, I think I will leave us here. Yes, let's help each other and let's make things right. Now, let me go quickly. There are some few comments here. Let me just read them, then we can go on. Um, I think Douglas Bundy says, wow. And she, he also says, so inspiring and empowering. Like, I like this young story. Then Teresa says, hmm, she also says, may God help you to succeed. And she yes. also says, it's absolutely disheartening when you think someone will help you stand but they steal your idea and shut the door before you and implement your idea. It's called stealing one's destiny. I, I agree with you, Teresa, but there is one thing I always tell young people that the market is so huge for everyone. You just need to go out there and start from somewhere mm -hmm. and do your business right. Look after your customers and trust me, you can get a bigger even market share that that person that had all the resources to start. It's about believing in yourself because every idea at a point in time will be stolen. So it doesn't matter the, at the, the time that it was stolen. It is yes. your duty to start from somewhere. And she also says, wow, very good advice. <laughs> very good advice help others to stand in life. Then she also says, you are a wise man. I think Teresa has really oh, thank you. allowed your thank discussion. You. She says, I like that. I like that. Do something great with someone. And lastly, she says, add value to others. Add value to others. Simply put, grow the black economy. Wow. Thank you very much, Teresa. And trust me, we are here every Tuesday, Thursday, and every Saturday. And if you enjoy the discussion, just join us every time. Then now our time has changed from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. because the UK British time has changed. So now we are on the GMT. So join us on, 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 on Tuesday. I've got a young man all the way from Kenya. This young man has really, he, he's a politician. He stood last four years and he's going to stand again. And this man has got a story to share. A 28-year-old man that really wants to become an MP. And these are the young people we bring on the show. Young people that are saying, yes, it can be done. Against all odds. And Peter is a typical example. And my man that will be coming on the show, it is going to be an amazing discussion. Tell everyone to really join us on Tuesday, 8 p.m. It is going to be an amazing discussion. And Peter, once again, thanks for your time. And thanks for always making the time, especially when times are difficult, to really come and really support us for this program to go on. Thank you very much for your time. Pleasure is all mine. Wow. Soul. It's been wonderful for everyone that will spend their precious Saturday to be with us. See you guys and have a very wonderful week. But before I go, and most people don't really know what Oscar Bimpon does, actually. <laughs> so Oscar Bimpon is an author, he's a transformational speaker, transformation in terms of motivational speaking, and he also does business training and consulting as well. And I have got this my book on Amazon. It's called Kingdom Clientele. Deploying Corporate Strategy Rooted in Biblical Principles for Church Growth. This is my first book. I've got some e-books, but this is my first book. And um, it's about what businesses have taken from the Bible, remodeled it to build multinational companies, but the church, which is the custodian of the principles, seem to struggle. It's a book every pastor, every entrepreneur, every business startup, you must read this book. Trust me, you will enjoy it. 
it's been amazing having all of you. God richly bless you. Thank you. Bye bye. so excited because the Step Out TV shows are back live on T2i TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out with Oscar Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step Out SME Focus. This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step Out Youth Impact Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Author's Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week at 7 p.m. GMT. Like T2i TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 44759-1152983 or plus 233-5580-3924 or email info at traintoinspire.com. T2i TV. We engage, educate, enlighten.